The Terminal, starring Tom Hanks, is a story about a foreigner who wants to go back home to his family. He leaves for New York as a promise to his late father to collect something that he can find in the city. When he arrives at JFK Airport, he is informed that his country is having a revolution, therefore invoking his citizenship and therefore his right to enter the US. He cannot return home on a flight, therefore leaving him stranded within the airport. The film ends at Christmas time, and there are several allusions to it, but you can't exactly call it a Christmas film. The film is more or less a study of society in microcosm. The environment of the airport, where Tom Hanks must stay, becomes his world. He eats, sleeps and showers inside the airport, and must learn to live an enormously restricted life. Despite this, he soon develops meaningful relationships with staff and shopkeepers, who we realise are living almost the same life as him. We see the spectrum of lives within the airport, and people learn to live with Tom Hanks as one of their own. Of course, it's Steven Spielberg, so sometimes this sentiment is a little forced. But for a film where everything you see is artificial, the relationships are remarkably natural, yet develop quicker. The essence of relationships are found in those closest to you, a sentiment the terminal shares with It's a Wonderful Life. I always tend to watch this film at Christmas, and although it is neither experimental nor innovative, I'd be happy to call it a modern classic.